it. TJOS, make sure you hashtag that. Follow me at the JL Show on Twitter and Instagram. Right now on the line in session with us, man, the husband and the manager of musician slash love and hip hop star uh, Rashida. Also a father and also featured on Love and Hip Hop ATL. Kirk Frost, what's the deal, man? Hey, what's up, man? What's going on with y'all? I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. I'm trying to get that country accent, man, like Rashida, dog. I mean, like she has that deep, deep ATL country accent, and I'm working on getting that, man. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just hanging in here trying to, you know, just survive the storm and have fun with it. Man, what a storm it is. I mean, beef, not even so much beefing, but just, you know, getting into it with, uh, you know, a, a lady who, um, you know, was basically disrespecting your wife. And this lady can't even, you know, manage to keep a man. And, you know, it, it shows right there, you know, just how disrespectful she can get. How do you feel about that, Doc? Um, I feel like, you know, that my honest opinion is really... Like I said, I try to stay in my place, you know, and and let the ladies do their thing. But it just got to a point where, you know, when you picking up a glass 10-pound candle and throwing it at Rashida's face, I felt like, you know, you got to understand that's going past and above and beyond work. This is this figurine that's permanent. You know, you could have took out an eye, you could have blinded, yeah. you could have knocked a tube out. I'm just telling, like, you know, and at the same time, Rashida is pregnant, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't think... And he just looked at the whole room of the things she do. You know, and, and one other thing that I add to the K Michelle thing for me is like, yo, you got so many claims of you being this and you abused and you this and you that, but mm -hmm. every time we see you, you busting this girl in the head, Charlie Red, and you throwing something at Rashida, and right. you slapping Mimi, and it's just like, I don't understand why you're so violent, but you want to cry wolf that this happened to you. Right. Wow. 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 We've never heard Kirk talk like this, man. It's getting crazy. See, that's how that's how you should have been on the on the on the on the reality TV show, man. Like the way you were spilling that, I would have been like, yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, Kirk. It's been there. You mean they should have kept it and didn't edit it the way they wanted it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me let me rephrase that. Yeah, they should have kept it and not try to edit it out and make you seem like the bad guy. You got an hour and a half conversation that's chopped down to like two and a half, three minutes by wow. the time you know, and, and that's the that's, that's they job to do what they feel is good TV, you know. Some, some things we get pissed about. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I wasn't happy at all at the edit, but it is what it is, you know? Right. Right, right. Now, Kirk, we do have a, a special co-host with me. Her name is Zainab J. Um, also a big fan of Love & Hip Hop ATL, and she also has some questions to ask you. So, Zainab, whenever you get a chance, go ahead. What's going on? What's up, Kirk? I just had a um, follow-up to Zainab's question with Kay Michelle. That was such a huge blowout fight, and all these producers edit it however they want to, and it did make a TV that was so huge is that something you guys are past is that water under the bridge are you guys cool or is it awkward is it okay tension there um you know we well it's, it's, that's, a, that's a hard one but okay there's definitely tension there I mean we're not cool yet if you, I'm not saying yet because I feel like we'll get over it I feel like I will I'm, I don't know so I don't know what's her attention but I'm not walking around holding a K Michelle grudge like um Every time I see you, I want to, you know, have a problem with you. That's definitely not on my mind. Right. But you guys are adults and professionals. So clearly, you're working together, too. But it's not something that's just like a black cloud hanging over you guys. Yeah, no, I don't. You know, I would definitely love to get past it. And, you know, we'd be able to, you know, do things. Really, for me, I'm, it's not really so much of me. I mean, I would like to see the K. Michelle grow. I would like to see K. Michelle, you know, stop being so angry all the time mm -hmm. because pretty much you can deal with everybody on the show, but, you know, K. Michelle has a, a, a certain pattern where she'll get into a box, you know, and just judge everybody because this whole thing started on something that we ain't even got nothing to do with, to be honest with you, and, and off an opinion. Mm -hmm. And I feel like for any damage or any harm to be you know, just throwing that way to somebody like Rashida, this or anybody over there for that matter, just because of an opinion, we're going too far. Like, you know, you you can be as valid as you want with your mouth, but I think you should be able to get your point across yeah. without getting hurt and touching nobody. Wow. Yeah. 
Nice, nice. And did they, did they, it looked like they cut out a lot of scenes, man. Cause I know you guys weren't arguing for no 30 seconds. Did they cut out like a, a lot of extreme stuff? Like, was there anything that we were missing? I mean, there's definitely a lot of stuff that was there that I said to her that I know. I mean, it definitely rubbed her the wrong way and got her to say whatever she wanted to help them out. But I really kind of wanted to just get a reflection of herself and what she's doing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as I look at Kay Michelle today, you know, that was, you know, and, and, and you can't change overnight. But I, I'll be honest, I do see her looking like she's trying to clean it up a little and looking like she's trying to get out of the negative role. So... You know, I'm just bystanding like everybody else looking at her like either you going to clean it up or you're going to self-destruct. I wish her the best. I don't, you know, I think K. Michelle, you know, there's not like I, oh yeah, K. Michelle needs to fail. I wish K. Michelle the best. I just wish she'd learn how to deal with people better. And I think she can, once she'll go somewhere, I, I think she's just bitter and angry at things that's happened to her. She just looks to take them out on anybody. Yeah. You know, anything and anybody, whoever you are, it's not, it's not different, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Moving on from that, moving on from that. We got Kirk Frost right here on TJOS. Make sure you hashtag that on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. So, uh, Kirk, man, um, you know, it, it, it seems to me, you know, of course, you guys are kind of pretty much, you guys are in a situation right now, but... Um, you know, like you guys aren't as in front of, um, you know, the whole scene like like on season uh, one. You know, you guys basically don't have all of the spotlight, I should say, um, on season two. So are you playing more of a husband and a father this season? Um, because it seemed like all last season you were doing more management. You know what I mean? Like, so on this season, are you more settled down and, you know, just not really antsy about the whole being on reality TV? Actually, this season is... Actually, it's going to be exactly opposite of everything you're saying. You actually are getting more Kirk this season. For me, like, I'm playing, you know, my scenes last year are just pretty much tied to Rashida. This season, I'll be taping with all sorts of cast members. And, you know, I'll be doing things that I want to do. Of course, I'm going to do the Rashida things. And you're going to learn a lot about you get to know me a lot better this season. Okay. Oh, we may have stopped slow, but... That ain't what's about to go down on the next kid, for sure. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. ZJ, go ahead and ask your question. Is um, working with your wife, also managing your wife, that can be, that has to be, there has to be some kind of conflict sometimes. I just, working and living out your relationship in front of cameras and in front of an audience and in front of cast and all that good stuff, how do you think it's affected your relationship? At this like, like right now, what we at right now, it's, it's more of a negative impact because actually the things we go through that would be personal this time on just the biggest the biggest platform out right now. So you, you begin to feel the effects of that everywhere you go because people are seeing it and you know people are commenting to you, people are going at you on on social media, the blogs, and it, it actually magnifies it past you would want and definitely it's a conflict and it's actually hard to just get you know one thing about me and Rashida we both got different views on the artist which again is Rashida is the artist but then Rashida has a personal life so Rashida tends to you know she'll, she'll protect the artist and she'll protect the personal and some things are always not good for the company because you're still hurting the company because you personally don't want to do it and then that same situation spills up into the personal relationship. No ifs, ands, buts, or maybe. So it definitely affects everything. It's not. I would recommend it to somebody unless you know you got a tough skin because you're going you're gonna to be being a flicking odds all the time. Mm -hmm. But well, it's always it's difficult enough to have a relationship between two people. And like you said, it's not just between two people anymore. It's in front of the producers and directors, what they want to get out, and your fans, and Twitter, and everyone that's watching so yeah. i definitely commend you for being able to do it yeah definitely that's got to be hard man i mean because if you think about it you're doing reality tv you're managing and you're being a husband you know so that's all three and you're getting the spotlight for all of it you know what i mean i, I salute you for that myself honestly 
That's 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 one strong man right there, ladies and gentlemen. So do you think Rashida's been taking off even further, you know, after being on TV shows and being nominated, you know, for on the BT Awards and everything like that? Do you think she's actually taking off even further now that you guys got the, you know, the, the reality TV gig? Really, to be honest, that part of it is great because, you know, you get more things than you can handle right now. And sometimes, like this this year, people will get to see a lot more of Rashida's business, a lot more of the business things she's doing, you know, a lot more of the, the stuff like Rashida's got a, a cosmetic line that's coming called Foy. Like a, a super thing that's, that came into play for her. Of course, the I'm Bossy website. It's been around for two years, but it just got put on a, a national platform, which was always, you know, a money maker. Besides the music, besides the shows, the guest appearances, and all that. So, and for me, I'm doing like GHB clothing line, which is called No Hard Boys with the bikes. I like, really don't know. I'm, I ride bikes. I've been doing it for like 20 years, mm-hmm. and there's a whole bunch of us all around Baltimore, New York, and so it's a whole big bike club. And I'm gonna bring that up to it. So, business wise, it's done a lot for us. I mean. It keeps us busy 24-7. Like, you have to, like, pull back from the show. The platform is amazing. You know, and that's what... This is where I think you balance it out. That you'll take the bull... The, to be honest, you'll deal with all of this because you begin to see the benefits from it. Yeah. Being honest with you. If it, if it was no benefits there like it is, I don't think you would even want to consider doing it. And that's still pushing it far just because of the benefits. Wow. Zainab, can we go, can we, like, sign up for to be on a reality TV show? Like, my benefits are pretty I think, low I think right now. I think, it, I think it would be pretty epic, actually. I think so. We should do, like, we should do, like, love and hip-hop, like, California. You know what I mean? Like, the West Coast. You know what I mean? Like, have Kirk probably Love produce it or direct it. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm down. Let's do it. Where do we sign up? Just look. Just be prepared. Wake up. Every time you look on their social media and blogs, that you can learn something new about yourself. Oh, you're gonna learn something new. You're gonna hear things about yourself that totally untrue, and you, you just, you, you're just gonna go through a lot. You gotta learn, you know. And I, I'm, I'm adjusting. I am nowhere near, you know, just feeling like, oh yeah, it, it's nothing. I'm yeah. Just, I'm, I'm really learning how to take it in because every day it's just something new. It's like oh, yeah. wow. Definitely. And, and I and I see it too, man. It. I see it too. Like I see the people that you go in on and. You know, everything like that. So it's got to be hard, dude. Like, you know, competing with all of that. You know, the K. Michelle is notorious. You know, she got her little gay joke going now. And Mm. people were asking me, am I gay? I'm like, hell, excuse my language, hell, fucking no, I'm not gay, never will, don't want to be. But, you know, you you say it and they just run with it. You know, you got about a good old 5% who want to bother you on Mm. it and 95% know, but... It's still to have to answer that. You know, I got my kids, and they're yeah. like, "Yo, why, why you?" People really don't understand that if somebody's saying something, and you can't stop them from just bothering you, and you know, then everybody else bandwagons it. So if somebody say one thing, you got a bunch of bandwagoners who just ain't got nothing else to do, and then they wait for the next joke and nothing else to do, and they just. You have to be like, okay, block Honest- you, block you. You know, you just gotta, gotta get used to it. Honestly, I just see it like, man, you wake up and then you wake up the next morning with like one of the baddest chicks in the game. Like, what more could you ask for? You got beautiful kids, a beautiful house on a reality TV show. That's honestly, man, like you're lucky. You're 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 lucky, you know, to have that kind of lifestyle, dude. Uh, uh, it's, it's, you gotta pay <laughs> the time. I'm not gonna call yeah. it lucky. I'm gonna call it. I'm blessed. Well, are you saying are you saying Rashida's pretty? Are you saying Rashida's pretty wild? Nah, I'm just playing, man. <laughs> Because 
it's just things on reality TV that you have never seen happen before on this show. And that I know personally. So I think this season is going to really be a big one. You know, it, it's, it's like really their start there. I warm up to be honest. So it's a lot to come. So it's going to be crazy. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. To all the fans out there, Eleven Hip Hop Season 2, ATL, is uh, now playing on Monday nights. All right, I get it on DirecTV at 8 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. That's so, 8 o'clock, here too, VH1. That's for right. Sure. For sure, for sure, man. So we definitely can't wait to see what's going on. It's an intense season right now, man. I mean, Lil Scrappy and his situation, Mama D, Shay, you know, Kirk and Rashida and K. Michelle. Oh man, oh even even the 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 radio host. Uh, what's her name? The the radio host was dating that light skinned dude. Yeah. yeah. Mimi got some. Mimi, even Mimi. Some- Mimi's more like I, I, I think Mimi is more like okay, she's over it now. You know what I mean? Like Stevie J, he's just <laughs> Stevie. Stevie is a funny dude, man. Like I just, I don't know. I like Stevie, man. Stevie is a funny, funny dude. Have you, have you guys ever like talked, like actually, like discussed anything? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We talk, I mean, we, we. I mean, the difference is we've never filmed together yet. That mm-hmm. I can tell you, we not, we haven't filmed together yet. But we, I mean, we cool. We speak. We hang. We, you know, we booked on some of the same events. All. I mean, we see each other. And we see each other about, seem like we see each other about 10 times, a, you know, just going through the airport, we run into each other all the time, mm-hmm. just in clubs and at venues, and we, you know, sometimes we don't even know we're on the same venue till we get there, yeah. so, I mean, he's a cool dude, he's doing what he gotta do, I mean, it's gonna get crazy next week, I know K. Michelle and, and Mimi and the boyfriend, all that fight is about to go after that, oh, another yeah. oh, oh, yeah. problem situation coming up, so. I mean, I think at least Steven's getting a break on all that, really. I yeah. mean, he's really, it looks like he's really getting a little bit of time to really get his love and caress him on the beach, so <laughs> he might be in a good place. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. As long as as long as the big brother Kirk isn't getting into any kind of beefs or anything with no other dudes, we don't want to we don't want to see you fighting, man. We can't see you, you know, f- scrapping and, and breaking I'm people's chilling. necks. You chilling, you chilling. So keep on chilling. Hey, man, I'm not trying to. I mean, like I said, I really be trying to lay it back. I mean, you know, there's a lot gonna happen. Um, it's a lot that's gonna happen, but I'm trying to you know stay in my lane, and you know, I had to definitely jump out of it for the, for the K. Michelle situation, but mm-hmm. pretty most. Pretty much, I'm going to, you know, just explore. I got a lot of other things I'm bringing to the table, letting people get to know me. Because, you know, the one thing about it is, and I'll say this, you know, it, it's more like I played a role. Mm-hmm. And I took a whole lot just taking the, the back chair to let Rashida just be Rashida. I don't really want to get into the arguing. on But, you know, then you got to deal with all the, you know, a lot of women was like, well, I just, I love you for that because you just really push Rashida to the forefront. And, you know, mm-hmm. then you got a lot of girls like, oh, no, nah, that's it, whack, you soft, you need, to. I mean, you were the places that you got, you know, it's just like people really critique, you know, certain things. And it's just <laughs> like, uh, it's funny, different, but you got to live it out. And that's the part that's still not sunk in with me. Hmm. I like you're 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 cool the way you talk, man. Like you actually sound like you're back on the reality TV. Doesn't he Zane up? Like he sounds like like how he was just talking to us. It sounded like how he something he would say on Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely. My boy Kirk Frost on the line right here, man. Make sure you follow him on Twitter, Frost117, verified, man, with almost uh, 100,000 followers on Twitter. Make sure you hit him up. Let him know what's going on. The manager and the husband of ATL star Rashida, man, the boss chick. She shows us, she shows uh, J.O. a lot of love, man. I definitely had her on the show like twice already, man. So salute to both of you guys for doing your thing and, you know, many blessings to you and the family. Um, before we go, man, is there anything that we can expect from Rashida this summer? Besides her and her cosmetic and the new record, Hit It From The Back, that'll be debuting shortly. Um, the website, the I'm doing extremely well. And with me, you'll be getting the GHB clothing line, the leather jackets, the vest, the shirts, all that stuff. Just expanding the brand, deal on entertainment, just trying to take it to another level. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. So hit up the homie Kirk, man, Frost117. If it wasn't for him, Rashida would never be coming out with all these nasty, explicit songs that everybody jams to. Kirk knows all the moves and everything, man. Big shout-out to you, Chief. We'll uh, conquer the world. Talk to you later, all right? 
TJOS, make sure you hashtag that and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at The JL Show. Also, Facebook.com backslash The JL Show. Zainab J, thank you so much for this interview with Kirk right here. How do you, how are you feeling? Did you like it so far? I did. I'm excited for hearing more about um, what's up with Kirk and everything for season two. It's going to be fun. Very, very, very. Where can, where can we contact you at if we want to you know, keep in touch with you and chat? Follow me on Twitter at at Definitely, definitely. Hit her up. Let her know what's going on. Instagram and Twitter, TJOS, thejlshow.com. Let's do it.